It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and in today's phone tap, imagine your husband's going in for a very important job interview. Mm. How do you help him loosen up and get rid of those butterflies? Yeah. Do you run through practice questions? No. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Picture people naked in your mind? Oh. Well, I do that, but you shouldn't. Okay. Just reach out to us and tell us to come up with some crazy scenario that'll make the actual interview seem totally benign. Oh. And that's what we do in your phone tap right now. Hello. Hi. Is this Chad? D yeah. Hi. Who's this? My name's Donna. I work at Family Insurance, and I think you're coming in for an interview tomorrow. Am I right? Oh, hi. yeah, hi. Yeah, I am. I am. Uh, yeah. Not so loud. God, not so loud. <sighs> What's the problem? Hey, I know we don't know each other yet, but I need you to kind of keep this quiet on the DL, okay? Okay. Uh, why? I, I'm, I'm really confused here. I really, really need your interview to go super well. I really want it to go well, too. Good. We're on the same page. Listen, they only have a couple people on their short list for this. And the person who came in to interview just yesterday, no one knows. I haven't told anyone. It's my ex. Oh, your ex-boyfriend. God, it's so loud. Shh. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. It was so awkward. He came in, we locked eyes, and I could just tell from his little smirk that he was thinking, ooh, guess who you're going to be reporting to? Uh, oh. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's really weird. I wouldn't want that. Tell me about it. So I have a plan, and it's you getting the job and not him. Okay, so that's why you're, like, whispering then and want me to be quiet? God, you're slow. This is going to be a lot of work. Do you have a pen and paper? Sorry. It's coming at me really fast, but I, I have a I have pen and paper. We don't have a lot of time here. I'm going to give you some inside tips on how to score this job. Number one. Yeah. When you shake hands with my boss, Charlene, I want you to put your left hand on her hip. Why? why? Then I mean, I, 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 I don't think I can. I don't want to touch her. I don't think I can do that. Left hand on her hip, then you spin her around and dip her like you're doing a dance. What? She's big in a ballroom. She'll think you're creative. You've done your research on her. It's going to be great. I feel like I shouldn't be touching the hips of my prospective boss. Like Do you want the job or not? Yes. So next thing, you must have seen this. It's on the front of our website. Our company's like huge on reducing their carbon footprint, right? Okay, yeah. After the interview, you eat your own resume. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm being serious. I've already shipped some digestible, organic, non-GMO free paper to your address. So you want me to touch this lady's hips and you want me to eat my resume after the interview's over? I would, I would bring an extra glass of water because those things don't go down real easy. All right, look, I'm just going to come out and say it. I mean, I think you're just trying to make me look like an idiot. And I don't know about this whole thing with your ex. Why and... would I do that? I need you to get this job. You are going to look like a winner. Yeah, I don't know about that. I've been working here forever. I know. And I really need you to do this last thing. Ugh. Don't wear shoes. <laughs> you don't want me to wear shoes? No. To the interview? No. Flippers. <laughs> Come on. You know the ones scuba divers wear? This is... Ridiculous. Charlene's going to ask you why you're wearing the flippers, and that's when you tie it all in. And you say that there's a parallel between the challenges of swimming and overcoming obstacles in life. She <laughs> loves that kind of stuff. I, I don't know what to say to you oh, now. You could even say, our competitors might try to pull us under, but your flippers will propel us to victory. Did you write that down? <laughs> that was good. Well, you know what I wrote down is that I'm probably not going to come to this interview because you're insane. <laughs> I'm insane? <laughs> Your wife, Erin, is a crazy one because she's the one that came up with all of this. How do you know who my wife is? <laughs> because this is actually Brooke from the radio show, Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone tap on you. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? <laughs> it's all just a prank. Oh, oh my.
God. I'm so sorry. I told you to do all those crazy things. I was thinking, like, what am I getting myself into with this crazy company? <laughs> but really commendable that you took notes. I think that's an A-plus employee move. Well, you made sure I had the pen and paper, so yeah. You did underline flippers, right? I did. Okay, good. Flippers good. And, and organic paper yep. and carbon mm-hmm. footprint, all of it. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.